Welcome back to another tutorial guys and in this one we're trying to achieve a really nice bright vibrant look to our photos again so if we just get straight over and I'll show you her Instagram so if we come over here and you guys can go give her a follow down in the description I always put the links to their Instagram down there so go give them a follow and if we come down we'll see the image we're going to be working with this one right here so i've got the settings for this one as well we've got 16 millimeters so nice and wide there and then uh f2.2 f-stop which is surprising i thought you would go for a higher f-stop so you get um the background and foreground in focus and we've got a shutter speed of 1000 no one over 3200 i would have thought you would lower that and have a higher uh f-stop and then a low iso at 100 but this is the image we're working with and as you can see really nice bright vibrant and we will have a look at a few other photos so nice teals lots of purples very little shadows and then uh those blacks are quite soft as well so we've got to soften them up in the curves but otherwise it's just a really nice bright vibrant image that has a lot of pop to it so bringing up those whites as well and yeah you guys can go give her a follow down in the description and yeah she is using for the camera sony a6000 and with the sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 and yeah let's see if we can create something like she has in this image let's get into it here's the raw file that she sent me and then the edited one from her instagram here so first things first let's up some exposure get us close to what we want so this image is obviously really bright so uh, if we look down here on the walls here we want the shadows to be brighter so you can tell these are the shadows because they're not real dark but they're a little bit dark so shadows we're going to bring up a lot now our image looks a little washed out it looks a little odd so we want the blacks which is like right in there the darkest spots to be darker so our image has a bit of contrast and looks a bit more natural but we brought up the shadows and getting rid of the shadows gives that nice bright tropical vibrant look and then um, we want to add a pop to this image so to add the, a pop to the image you want to bring up the whites a bit And then the image starts to get a little too bright but one thing i see all the time in images is bringing down the highlights and that just brings back a lot of detail in the highlights it's not as obvious in this image but you can see get a lot of detail back in the uh, highlights and the clouds and it allows these whites to pop a bit more and your image to stay a little bit natural when you got the whites up so i'm going to bring the whites all the way down and maybe a touch contrast and then we still need to do a little bit of fade in the blacks with this curve here but before i do that i'm going to add in quite a bit of clarity we've got a pretty crisp looking image there let's bring that up And then maybe some dehaze so um, it's hard to describe dehaze but it's um, adds quite a bit of richness to the photo and um, just a lot of clarity sort of does what just what it says it does dehaze you can see how everything gets a bit deeper and way less washed out it kind of adds in contrast i think it adds in contrast but leaves the whites and blacks alone that's sort of how i think of it so i'm going to do a little bit of dehaze and then we've obviously got really vibrant colors so bumping up the vibrance and i'm going to drop the saturation 
just to allow us to bump up that vibrance even more. Okay, um, I think we're looking good. Let's uh, overall warmth. So for our colors, we want it to be a bit warmer. So let's warm that up. Okay, so that gets us a wee way what we want. So I'm gonna do the curves now. And all what I'm trying to do is just add uh, a little bit of brightness and um, adding brightness in the curve here is different to adding brightness here. And this will give a real punch to the image by lifting the exposure in the curves. So I'm gonna do something like this, but I'll fine tune it and then I'll try to explain it again once I've finished the curve. Okay, so we have the curves done and as you can see, I brought the black point up a bit. It's not that obvious in this photo. This photo probably isn't the best to uh, try to explain it to you guys, but in her darker photos, she has a bit of a fade to those blacks. You can kind of see it in this, but it's quite difficult to see. Um, yeah, then I just slightly brought up the shadows, slightly brought up midtones. Midtones gonna really make this image pop. So if you're going for this nice bright look, think about bringing up the the um, midtones there, and then bringing up the whites up a little the highlights i mean and then right up here we've got the whites and normally you wouldn't bring them in this direction so they've got a bit of a fade to them but it's a fade in the other way as in overexposing and very very slightly overexposes so if you come up to the histogram here and you click here it'll this box here will tell you exactly where you're overexposing so just very slightly overexposing and just sort of adds to the very bright look and yeah it's a style choice so i think it adds to this bright vibrant look so let's carry on uncheck that and yeah slightly bringing up everything to create that vibrant pop because if you do if you do it the other way say this way this is where you get the other fade that's when you get the the faded style and we're going for that nice bright style okay let's do um let's just chuck up the denoise so this image has a lot of denoise in it and that's just going to give you a really nice smooth image if you're shooting say if you're working with jpegs especially um yeah really bring up the denoise you'll notice you get a much more natural looking image um sharpening can stay there we've got clarity so clarity is already giving us a pretty crisp looking image not very often not very often you want to bring up sharpening and clarity a lot at the same time you'll get a really really crispy sharp over sharpened image Okay, uh, split training, let's try to get a bit more of these colors. So um, we want warm tones and the highlights, obviously. So a giveaway for that is looking at the clouds. They're the whitest thing you have in the image. All these chairs here, they're very, very white. So if you put anything in the highlights, you will see it. And as you can see, they're warm. They're a touch yellow or a touch orange. So we'll do something like this and then in the shadows I'll put a green because we look a little purple at the moment you can see in the pool oh the pool might just be changed with um with a uh, HSL but let's shift some greens into the shadows as we look very very purple and then warm tones um, Okay, so what I'm going to do is shift the balance. So I want to, at the moment we're splitting our image 
50 50 highlights and shadows but i want i want this to be a bright vibrant image so i want more warm tones so i'm going to shift this to the right and that means i'm putting more of the highlight tones throughout the entire image so i'm going to shift it in this direction and that means uh the shadows here it's it's going to be pretty much only the blacks that are getting uh affected by the split toning now and say 75 percent of the image is now getting highlights affected so that's going to keep us nice and warm and then i think the rest is just going to be pretty much hsl work so just fine tuning the colors here in the hsl so let's do that so let's look at some of the colors so let's start with the oranges and the skin tones and that we want much more of an orange rather than a yellow so you can see where they're affecting as you can see those areas are too yellow we want more orange let's try that um, yellows so yellows will affect the same area to an extent so pick an area that the oranges aren't affecting but the yellows are you can see i wouldn't be looking at an area like this because that's where the oranges were affecting also and then you might think you might get confused if the yellows and the oranges are affecting the same area so pick a spot like these trees up here that the oranges aren't affecting and try to match them up a bit closer but then keep in mind that the greens will also affect the yellows a lot so you gotta try to pick a green spot that yellows aren't affecting which in this image is going to be very difficult but after playing around i can see down here greens don't affect that area but yellows do because as you can see yellows affect a lot of the greens so i'm gonna try using this maybe to match up our colors so i want this to be nice and warm over here so our colors look kind of strange not quite the same see how it's a bit brighter there let's try lifting the luminance of the yellows so you can see they get that nice bright look you can really notice it in all those greens back there they really get that shine so let's bring that up Okay, and see the brightness of all these oranges back here we look a little dull in our one let's see what happens if we bring up the luminance of that really bright and vibrant um, greens we want all these plants see how they, all these plants are really really shining try bringing up the luminance of them and then pretty much the same with the blues we look we look like we've got a real dark pool it looks kind of cold it's really bright in it so aqua's just doing a little bit there but we'll bring them up blues and then you can really see that in the sky but we we obviously need to change the color soon go about there purples um they can stay there right uh let's mess with hsl up here so the hue i mean so as you can see the pool looks really purple let's grab the blues let's go this way towards the color we want um as you can see our colors of the pool aren't perfect uh, they're pretty good aquas are only affecting the the little white bits inside the pool not very much but you can see that they are quite the green and they're quite saturated so if you look very closely we want a bit more of that color the green to the aquas our trees in the background we look quite green i think they can be a bit more of a warm orange um, right 
saturation up here mm, I think we're good let's go back down to saturation here we're pretty close we need to bring up saturation of a few colors so obviously the oranges if you look at this area or skin tone that needs to come up reds can come up a bit yellows to reset that so pretty much all these trees i think the yellows are more saturated greens so greens it's very hard to see because yellows and greens affect the same area a lot but i think we might take the greens down a bit. It's a hard one to spot. Let's just drop them a little bit. And the blues, so um, we look pretty good there. Maybe just bring up saturation. So looking at the sky and looking at the pool, saturation can come up. And aquas can come up a bit with that. Purples. Um, so if we look where the purples are, they're sort of like kind of in the shadows. So the corner of that pool down there along these cracks here I think we need to bring them down a lot because they sort of give off a, a gross sort of color there I'm gonna really bring them down so that's the areas I'm looking at I'm gonna really bring them down and then magenta And see if you get rid of all the magenta it starts to look a little green way down there i think i might just keep magenta how it is luminance um i think we're about good with everything down in the luminance um okay if we can back up I think we're about good with that, with our colors and that. So she um, told me that she has brushed a bits of the background, like she tried to make flowers and bushes stand out. So we've got a few radial filters here. Here's one over her face. I've already got them all placed. So for this one, we need to actually, this one, this one's a nice big one. So if I just quickly show you where it's affecting, right in the middle in the background. So what we want to do is add a lot of texture to the background. So texture's new. It's kind of like clarity, but won't it won't affect your, your contrast as much. So I'm going to lift up that. To really bring out the background it's gonna like bring out all the textures of the rocks and stuff like that um, some clarity maybe bit of a pop there extra saturation for the middle of the image okay we're good um, so this little bush over here, you just you just can't get that sort of contrast that she has in her image. So you need to do a little filter over that one. And what you want to do is just try to bring it out. So maybe add some more color into it by putting in some warmth. Um, and then just clarity. So this little area is going to pop really well. Same with this bush here. He's trying to make it stand out. Let's make it, try to make this area look nice and vibrant. So what I'm gonna do with this one 
is um, up the clarity again. Exposure, because it's quite shaded. And then maybe some saturation to it. Um, right, what else do I want to do? So here's one, her face here, so um, if we look over at hers, we just want to drop at the exposure a bit. Up the saturation. Bring a bit more color back. One down here for the drink, so this is a pretty important part of the image. We just want this to pop a bit more, because I think, I think the actual focus of the image in, in the camera the focus was actually set on the background so down here is a bit soft in terms of sharpness so what I'm going to do bring up the texture so it has quite a different effect to sharpness um, I'll go with that and then add some extra color to those And then let's just brighten them a bit. Get that vibrant feel. Okay, um, I think we've done all of those. So, um, there's one more thing. Want to do one brush. So these red flowers down here, they they pop a lot more in her image. And, so if we grab this, if I just show you where this brush is affecting and see just those flowers down there and then all we all that we have to do is just bring up some saturation and then you can see that they lack like a little bit of contrast and pop. They look a little faded. I know we've got the rest of our image pretty good, but this area just looks a little less. Clarity will add a lot of crispness and a bit of contrast to that. And then maybe just some normal contrast just so they stand out a bit more I think that's looking good a bit too saturated and done guys I'm just gonna leave it there we look pretty darn close there so yeah let me know what you thought of this one the comments who you guys want to see so comment people uh, that don't have many followers but have great images great styles and then i'll go reach out to them on instagram and get them to send in the image and yeah check out the presets if you're really liking these tutorial guys really i'm blown away by all the feedback you guys are sending me on instagram about them and yeah it's just really awesome that I can help you guys so much by just showing you guys these tutorials and giving you guys presets so that you can get a head start on your on your edits. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll put all the links down in the description. Go give her a follow. Uh, really awesome content. So those links will be down in the description. Let, let her know that you found her through this tutorial. And yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.